Hello. Welcome back to Bug Snacks in the Isle of Big Snacks. Oh, are they gonna crash? Are they gonna crash into each other? Oh no, he takes a sharp turn. Never mind. Uh, okay. So we've helped out Triffany, got her all the way up to the temple and in. And that kind of seems like the end of her quest line for now. Although she did say that it was just gonna take her a day to get in there. Um, we'll catch up with her later because I want to engage with Shelda now. Hello, Shelda. I've opened the way. Or I destroyed the obstacle. The path once more revealed, and yet no less treacherous. Probably. One's heart is filled with dread for the truths yet unknown within the River Shrine. Nevertheless, we must push forward. <laughs> of course. We will have faith. Uh, meet Shelda by the Nature Shrine. Is it the one just down here, or is there another one? Because there seems to be a lack of options for shrink spice out here. So it'd be nice to unlock some more. Okay, yeah, let's run at the Clopstroni right now. Or, no, it's carrying that trampoline thing, which I think might be useful. For, like, navigating the area, maybe? Again, this looks... Yeah, there's a whole thing here. That I can't get into, it seems. Ah, I need to unlock bombs! Not that bomb. Alright. Hi, Shelda. We're at the shrine. Now what? Oh, thanks for meeting me out here. I guess if it's just you and me, <laughs> I can keep it casual. Oh, sure, if you'd like. The entrance to this place looks too strenuous for these old bones. But I believe there's a side entrance into the shrine. Oh, I think when I... When you find it, can you please open it for me? I... I think I did already. Um... This hmm okay hmm. I mean I can't just grapple nothing. Huh? Boy, we really left our strabby all the way out there, didn't we? Uh, here you go. Okay. I mean, we gotta try jumping. Bounce. Yes, 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 yes. Sweet. Okay. We now have fires. Do this. That gives us a ramp up. Perfect. Oh, there's another Clopstroni over there. That one. Oh, wait for it to come back. And one more flame. Sweet. It's not the side entrance, but it still works, I hope. Actually, I might have to lure you over here. Glad I didn't capture you. Here we go. Aha! Uh -huh. The old Dark Souls doesn't open from this side trick. The shrine is open. Ah, this place. It's almost identical to the shrines I used to visit in my youth. But it's been twisted, corrupted. Here, Mother Nature is the bringer of bug snacks. Wait, you've, the stories you've been here they before? passed down. The warnings about the toxin. They must have come from experience. Okay, you've been to places like this before. The shrines of your youth? Yeah. Ex yes, the place where I learned about the beauty and wisdom of this world. I hear it's a parking lot now. Oh, I'm sorry. Was this the mother's original form? <gasps> no. The mother is a purest light. Her ageless wisdom vastly predates these vile monstrosities. But her followers are a different story. No one starts life off the path. That's why we all need guidance. Fair enough. 
Uh, what stories? I grew up hearing stories about the dangers of Snacktooth Island, passed down through the oral tradition from those who survived it. Wait, then why did you Not come here? Not that many did survive it. Just enough to give one very clear message. The toxin must not be consumed. You said pointing at me with a popsicle stick arm? Why not consume the toxin? Because it will lead to your doom. What doom, I, I do not know. The story's gotten frustratingly vague over time. Fair enough. Why didn't you tell us this? I did! Every day at the top of my lungs! It's all of you who didn't listen. I mean, fair enough, but your body is currently 100% bug snack. Except for maybe the eyes, which I think is a good thing. Uh, so yeah, why did you come here if, like, literally everything told you not to? It wasn't really a raffle, I can tell you that. Uh... <sighs> come with me to the crater. There's something else I want to see. Oh, boy. All right, well, we have sort of more access. Okay. Okay, so I don't need the trampoline to get up there. So I guess I can try to capture this Clobsteroni. Hey, buddy. Here you go. Interesting. Interesting. I suppose that makes sense when you think about it. If I I'm trying to hit your butt with it, just the face. I guess we just can't have you when you're carrying a trampoline. Oh, just at the last second, I guess. There's no way that's low enough, right? There we go. Clobsteroni. Clobsteroni. Fantastic. Oh, that was the thing Chanlo wanted, wasn't it? The thing that was lifting something down by the river, yeah. We met him, another Bunger Royale, just for the hell of it. They're pretty passive otherwise, though. So other Bungers will be charging you non-stop, but... This one seems chill. Is there only one fire to open this door? I mean, I'm fine with that. Is this just to the other... Yeah, this is back up to the temple. Okay. Hmm. Oh, just thought this would be a Mario pipe for some reason. Okay, well that still doesn't really answer my problem with trying to get fire over to the other side. But I mean, we'll more than happily keep playing over here. Okay. I guess we just double bounce off this pad onto the Cobsteroni up there. Do we have a way of lighting that? Again, my instinct is you, but... You love hot sauce. What, can I cover... This in hot sauce? Hmm. Let's see if we can maybe chase it over here. Go! Not exactly how I expected that to go. Hey. Can you maybe play with those? Oof. This is... Oh. Mm. No! Here, can we... Can you maybe pick up... Clobsteroni? Yeah. Oh, I've made this... This is a disaster. I've just made everything out here worse. Oh, God. Cat up, please, 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 please. Please go there, please go there. God, what is this inferno? Okay, I think we want the Clobsteroni 
This is... This has just been a disaster. <laughs> I'm just gonna go somewhere else now. Oh boy. We've just made a mess of things. Okay, as for getting these lit up... That's definitely too far from anything. These torches maybe might not be? No, there's no way. Especially if I do it like that. God damn it! I still destroy it while I'm on fire. Here, maybe? Hmm. No, there's literally nothing to be seen up there. Maybe one of those torches from the temple. Let's destroy that just in case. Oh, maybe. Just maybe. No. Mm. Wow. I'm surprised it actually stuck. I mean, we gotta try at least with the other torch. But I also have a feeling. Ooh. Maybe. No. Huh. I mean, there's potentially still other stuff we're not seeing. And maybe we just need to progress some quest lines and unlock some stuff. Okay, Shelda. Uh, what are we looking for? Yes. This is the place. In the stories, they called this island Broken Two. So the story goes, the toxin's influence grew so great and powerful that the sun itself went dark. And so Mother Nature unleashed her wrath on her errant followers, purging the toxin and sending everything to the depths of the ocean. Wow. This crater is the Mother's Wrath? Looks a lot like wrath to me. Well, yeah. But that story never sat right with me. Destroying followers who stray? That isn't the mother I know. <laughs> you should She's hear some real world religions. She's not the bug snacks either. The ancients can't even get their story straight. So what am I supposed to believe? If I can't rely on the wisdom of those past, then all that's left is my own experience. I need to meditate. Child, if you would do me a kindness. You see that egg, Lachelle? I need you to crack open three of them. This time, it's not a metaphor. Then what is it? If it's not a metaphor. Okay, well, I've got one cracked. That Spaghetter has the other one, but I have no idea how I'm going to get it from him. Or her. Could be a lady Spaghetter. I also kind of want to ju just address the way you look. Just for some fun. Body. Oh, your body's already a pancake. No, that's a bit much. Ooh, jerky body? Oh, that... No, that's flayed alive. Some of these can be very dangerous. Now, well, sprinkle beet's kind of fun. Black olive. Just a full black look. Kind of purpley. Bombino body. Fruity snack pod. No, that's definitely not it. Can I give you full crapple horns? Oh, this is interesting. That's some interesting headwear. That's... That's something else. What? That's ridiculous. <laughs> okay, we're not sticking with that. As great as that might be. No, that ain't it. Can't even see your teeth. Oh my. That wasn't what I expected at all. But it's better. 
Hell yeah, you're like a big ol' apple slice. Uh, hands though. Hands, hands, hands. No. I think we're just gonna go claws with you. I'm a big fan of claws. Go for a nice earthy aesthetic with you. Oh, we already have those as legs. Uh, some fruit legs at the bottom. Bananas. Yeah. I'm loving this vegan aesthetic we have going. This will do nicely. Alright, well, we gotta keep an eye out for egglers. Or eggler shells. Ready? We thankfully got one broken already. And we kind of know where the other one is, we just don't know how to retrieve it. Let's see if we can time this thing right. Come on. Yes! Okay, let's see what's in here. Maybe we want the chalk line to pick us up. Let's see what it does. Yeah, okay. Where do you take it? I'd stand further back, but there's no room. Ah, oh, sweet! Thank you. You were a helpful one. No, Strappy, don't get crushed. There we go. Hey, look what we found. And the fire we need. Okay. Uh, let's move this out of the way first. God, this is a very good door to open. Perfect. Man, I just... We gotta check down the waterfall, right? Oh man. I mean, now that we know that there's like a secret triangle area... Actually, no, we didn't check our inventory. Did... Are there clues or something like that for... Yeah, there is. Strange triangular key. What sort of space might this open? Huh. No idea. Also, how are we for bug snakes here? Uh, we've seen everything except for one. And that looks a little terrifying. Uh, and we haven't caught three of the ones that we have seen. Spaghetti, Chalk Lamp, and Devil Degler. Still have to figure out how to bring Spaghetti down. Chalk Lamp, I imagine, just hit it with Trick Spice and catch it normally. And then the Devil Degler. Actually, let's see what happens if we cat if we break more of those eggs. If they fly around different areas, because maybe that one's just flying around an area where it's going to be really hard to catch. Or potentially even impossible. Come on. Sweet. Is that enough to open the door? Okay, just more access to shrink spice. Definitely can't complain about that. I'm also guessing, based off of this, that there's no snack pods here. Which I guess I am grateful for. All right, well, let's uh, get our egg. Oh boy. All right, well, take the long way. Come with me. You must be freed of your, ah, crap. I was gonna say prison. And then possibly an adjective, but I don't necessarily know what eggs are made of. Like the shell wise. I just push you around. Very slowly. Ooh, I don't know if I can fit you through there. 
was that sound? Oh, Club Scrooney's back. Cool. Come on, you big egg. Come on. Yeah! Over here. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Chet Orb. Perfect. Is it just going to go to the exact same path? Ugh. That's not very useful for me. No, I could just throw Millie Mochi up at them, can't I? I didn't even think of that. Probably because I captured it before these guys were here. Okay. Wait for it to walk on it. See if we can throw him in the air. Let me even check to see your path. You're too big to do that to. Oh, there's so many complications out here. I mean, I'm loving it. I love a good puzzle. Okay. Did you destroy my jump pad? Aim it at that. You guys. Just come over here. Yeah, none of you are on it right now. Oh, hey. Oh, come on. Get the, get the spice. Get the spice. No, what? Oh, thank God. Yes, Devil Degler. Devil Degler. Yes. Okay, I was overthinking this one. Okay. Um. So we got the Clobsteroni, which I think is the one Chandler was looking for. So let's get that going on him. And then I guess try to figure out we get a Spagider down. Possibly just throwing stuff at it. Oh, but I like your aesthetic so much already. I don't know if I want to ruin it with one of these. Clubs? Yeah, let's do the arm. Yeah, yeah it does kind of look like muscles. Oh, yeah! I can feel the lifting energy inside me. But I didn't get bigger at all. I guess I didn't get huge eating that big bunger either. You know what, bro? I'm just going to admit to myself that it's not going to work. And move on. Really? Guess that means my investigation's over already. What do I do now? Wow, you gave up pretty quick. <laughs> Challenge all the bug snacks to fights? Bro, if I can't handle Big Bunger, I don't stand a chance against the rest. Goals for the future, maybe. Eh, you can maybe beat up a chalk lamp. They don't look too threatening. You can help the others investigate. I'm already helping where I can, bro. But I'm not a scientist. Floofty said if I touched their lab again, they'd give me an excoriating worthy of my fatuity. Hmm. I, I mean, I don't think I know what that is either, but maybe stay away from that. Uh, just sit back and relax, Chandler. Relax, huh? I guess it's been a while since I just chilled. I've been so busy fixing up Snacksburg, training, life coaching, and, <laughs> you know. I've always got to take care of Snorpy. What the grump? Let's hang! We ought to shoot some hoops! I don't think there's hoops out here. But, hey, let's shoot hoops. All right! Hoops, 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 hoops! <laughs> what are we about to do? You know the rules, Where... dog. We're going to take turns shooting hoops. First one to make five baskets wins. Go ahead and shoot your first shot. Oh, you're going to give me... Okay. Oh boy. Well, at least I know my name now. How do I... Okay, maybe I should stand closer. My turn! Oh yeah, we can move. <laughs> Bro, I missed! Aw, oh, it's okay, Chandler. 
Wait, you just have multiple of those on you? Ah, oh, grump. My turn. Ow. Sorry, didn't mean to. My turn. <laughs> nice oh, one, crap. boy. Oh, come on. You got one point. Yes. My turn. Your toast, Chanlu. <laughs> two points for me. Okay, this isn't looking good so far. How about now? That's two points for yeah. you. Yeah. My turn. Miss. I got three points. Oh man. Oh, man, I gotta be Chanlo. Three points, dog. I'm gonna stop waiting for your turn. My I'm just turn. gonna go for it. <laughs> ah. Oh, no. Four points for the Chan Man. God. Damn it, Chan Man. You got four points. Damn right. My I'm turn. Not gonna let you. <laughs> no. Grump, I missed. The ball disappeared. The game knows. Not letting me cheat. Whoa, five yes. points! Chandler, you won, I get Snorpy. I didn't know you were such a baller. We gotta have a rematch sometime. Thanks for playing with me, bro. Now that we're done hanging, I gotta get back to Snacksburg. I gotta go check on Snorpy. Uh, Snorpy's doing fine on the beach. Or <laughs> we kind of need that raft, yeah. I'll just make another raft. Or I'll swim back if I have to. That's a bit the much. Ocean's not that tough. Yeah, it is. Oh, bro, I'm going to be real with you. This is the longest I've been away from Snorpy in years. Oh, Chandler. And he's not okay without me. How about this? I'm going to need some big energy for the trip back. You get me two of the biggest, strongest bug snacks on this island, and I'll stick around till I'm fueled up. Well, looks like I already have them. Pile of bite and Sally sticks. Oh, I want a basketball match. No thanks. Um, poo. I mean, first of all, we gotta give you the other candle arm. Now, I'm very interested in what pile of bites gonna give you on the top of your head. You've had that crown for quite a while, so. Ooh. That's interesting. You look far more satanic with this. And what about a Selly Sticks horn? No. Stumpy. Oh, Chanlo. I hate too much. So good, though. No regrets! Hey, while you were out there, I've been thinking. Before I go... I need some major guidance. Normally, there's stuff I can't talk about because Snorpy's always listening in. So, if not now, when? I mean, Snorpy's sibling is here and might rat you out. Uh, let's get you some guidance. All right, Shelda's waiting. Oh no, what's this gonna be? Hey, Sheldog, can I get some of your wisdom? Always, my child. This is a good view of your I'm nose, Shelda. I'm about Snorpy. Once more shall you be reminded. Snorpy is safer than we, Chandlo. Ease your burden. That's... that's not what I mean. I'm worried about the way he's been. All the paranoid stuff, the anxiety. I thought bringing Snorpy out here, out into nature, it might mellow him out. Flush all the bad vibes out of his system. But it's only gotten worse. I've known Snorpy all my life. But it feels like he's getting further away from me, and, and I just don't know what to do. Uh, one must, in the past, over the mother. No, uh, hold on. One does not want one's words to be misinterpreted when one says, that boy needs therapy. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, for sure. And I'm trying to do that. I make sure he's safe, I listen to his problems, I try to help him feel valid, all that stuff. Chandlo, you are strong and wise and wonderful, and you can do everything to support him. But you cannot fix him. Understand? Snorpy is lost in a maze of his own making, and it will take a professional to help him escape. That's a lot to take in. I need to think about it. Thanks for your wisdom, Shelda. 
You'll thank me when you actually take my advice. <laughs> hey, bro, while I'm still out here, I want to talk to Triffany and Floofty too. There's still more I gotta know, you know? Yeah. I think they're also gonna say therapy. Um... All right, let's adjust you with the celly sticks that's in your system now. Um, because... I'm not a fan of how that celly sticks got rid of your horn, because that horn is really good. Um, gotta see what the bunger horn looks like, though. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, oh, wow, it's just a burger on your head. <laughs> no, that won't do. Oh, little tiny legs. Ooh, some nice ears. Oh, now that's something else. <laughs> you kind of give me kitty vibes now. Here we go. We'll honor your melon, melon roots. What's your body, Scorpino? Ooh, that's not. I don't like that either. Just a oh, huh. I was expecting like a pecan texture, not the tin of it though. Oh right, we already saw that. Seen that. Scarpino top? Ooh, ooh, that's cute! Wait, what's the score pepper one gonna do then? Just more red? Ugh. Oh. Hmm. Now I'm conflicted all over again. Where's the celly sticks? What's the celly sticks body do? You look like a little gremlin now. Actually, I wasn't done, never mind. Uh, yeah, what? Well, nope. Wafstackerack. Tiny legs. God, you're like a little demon. It's amazing. God, this is so fun. What have we done to you, Flifty? Or what more can we do to you? Ah, Chet Orb. Oh. Oh my. It's kind of like poodle poofs. Yeah, I think we're going to stick with that. It looks really good on you. The nose, though. Hmm, that's not it. What about Lesser? Still the same. It's going to be a ball. Oh, interesting. Yeah. No, I wasn't done. I lied. Uh, the body, though. Coconut body? Still, yeah, it's the exact same. Really moky. That's kind of cute. Noodler. Actually, what does the noodler top look like? Yeah, that's what you've had this entire time. Hmm. Hmm, though. That's pretty good, too. Anyway, I like the shoulder pads moment. Oh. Gosh. 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 <laughs> okay. Yep. Ooh, a little banana stem at the back. God, that sure is something. Huh. Alright, so Chandler, you wanted to talk to Triffany and Flutie. Oh, yeah, Flutie's right here. Chandler wants to talk to you. Oh? I suppose it was only a matter of time. Tell Chandler I will be with him shortly. Are we here to speak ill of my brother? <laughs> I will gladly go first. Oh, no! Complaint one of 294. No, don't! No, no, that's not why I asked you here. But I do want to talk about Snorpy. He wasn't like this when we were kids, right? I mean, he wasn't always so on edge, was he? Snorpington has always had his imagination and his moral compass. But no, I suppose he's gotten markedly more distraught since our project's dissolution. What Project. happened between you two? I mean, I heard some of it from him, but I always wanted to hear your side, too. And Snorpy doesn't really like me talking to you. Oh, I'm aware. I have a pile of threatening letters to that effect. <laughs> oh, no! However, I will gladly take this opportunity to set the record straight. We were working together on a government-funded research project. Advanced prosthetics that are ten times stronger than an ordinary grumpus. But our dear Snorpington discovered that the government had less than savory plans for that technology. 
And despite my protestations, he tried to make those plans public knowledge. Well, oh, yeah, wow. I don't blame him. He's a whistleblower? Even you got to admit, that's pretty jacked up, dog. Am I the world's only optimist? That technology would have saved lives. If it must either exist with some consequences or not exist at all, I think the choice is clear. Easy to say when you aren't the one living with the consequences. <laughs> yeah, Fair where enough. did you come from? <laughs> Shoo. <sighs> she lives here. Unfortunately, Snorpington agreed with you. He tried to play whistleblower, but before he could make a sound, we were both fired. Oh. And after that... There was a campaign to slander both of us, to discredit any allegations he might still make. Oh, that's so, why. So, there really was a conspiracy against you two? <laughs> if you must call it that. But only the most boring sort, with paperwork and lawsuits. Still, that means it's not all in his head. Don't mistake justification for reason. Snorpington has moved well beyond the realities of our situation. All right, Flifty. Thanks for telling me all that. Mm, happy to have enlightened you. Honestly, I expected this conversation to involve more shouting and headlocks. No, <laughs> not this time. We're cool. But hey, we should talk more often. And maybe I can show you how to headlock me. Perhaps. But for now, my work beckons. I mean, that's kind of great insight to have on Snorpy. Like, he isn't just paranoid for no for no reason, like... <laughs> oh, that Eggler's flying over there now. I suppose... Yeah, you, there would be water there they could easily use to knock it down. Okay. Huh. I mean, we already have one, so... Not too worried. Oh, hey, you got closer than I thought. <laughs> um, yeah, let's uh go get the talk with Triffany. Because I'm really liking these. Pilobite's back in its place. Hopefully it's less chaos up above. That weird area. Hmm. I mean, we could probably just get a chalk lamp now. No, let's... Yeah, let's try and get up there. I think if we're going to do that, we're going to need Clobsteroni with the trampoline. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Okay. Hopefully this won't be just chaos again. I can't even remember what went wrong in here last time. I think Pilobite was just throwing everybody around. Okay, there we go. And I guess just shrinking Sally sticks the one time is like permanently got the chocolate lance out. Hey, look what it is! It's your favorite trampoline! Okay, does it now route around here? Yes! Okay, here we go! I need a lot of other sauces. There we go. Perfect. Plop this here. Drop that there. Ah, oh, I've set myself on fire. Well, we unlocked the thing. Sweet. Okay. We can now capture some chocolates easier. Right, we gotta shrink them first. <laughs> oh my god. It's like... Uh, it's a fun multi-step process. Alright. Uh, that. Oh, I think it's so small. Oh, is it trying to get back up on the celly sticks? That would have been interesting. Chocolate. How am I gonna get that down for me, though? Huh. Alright, well, let's get Triffany to check in on Chandler. 
Actually, like, I guess Trifney might be done in here? No. No. Because it no. said, like, come no. back no. after a day. I mean, I haven't slept, but. It does seem brighter in here. Hey, Trifney. Uh, any luck with the rubble? Oh, it's not going too good. I'm starting to worry I might never see the inside of this temple. Uh, maybe Chandler could push through. I don't know, maybe he could. But if I put him in any danger, Snorpy's gonna hear about it. And then I'll hear about it every day for the rest of my life. Maybe Flifty could figure something out. Knowing them, they'd go and whip up some chemical that dissolves rocks and only takes three-fourths of their blood to make. Oh my god. It's safer for them if I don't ask. <laughs> uh, it's not the wrong way to think of it. Maybe Shelda knows a secret way in? Ah, uh, could be. But I don't know that I need even more riddles to solve. Besides, I've heard the sounds her back makes. She could really use a lie down. Yeah, or some walls on her house. Maybe they could all work together to open it. Oh, I was afraid you'd say that. Sure, teamwork would really help out here. But those grumps can't go more than an hour without starting a big fight. And I, uh, I just freeze up. You know, I'm an expert in my field and all. But I'm not a management type. It's better if I just concentrate on my work and let them cool off on their own. You really don't think they can cooperate? To be honest, no, I don't. These kind of spats, they just fester and grow. And before you know it, civilization collapses. It's Look, a little hyperbolic. Just don't get along. Some mysteries just go unsolved. There's nothing I can really do about it. But at least we gave it a shot. I'll see you back at the camp. Tiffany, we can't just give up. Okay, well, I, I did want you to check in with Chandlow, so... I guess I'll meet you back at camp. One second, find a weird kid. Huh. What about this one? Is this one climbable? Any reason for it to be climbable? Spaghetti are really the only thing out here we have left to catch? Yeah, we... Hmm. Okay, well, well, we'll do the talk over there. Maybe somebody will have offer some kind of hint. Though I guess nobody's really been offering much in the way of hints for anything else out here. I just remember in previous areas there being a few more hints to how to catch them, but hey, I'm enjoying the puzzles. Hopefully they do like a sequel to this game someday, which would be pretty cool. And I kind of hope that they take this zone as more of a template to use. Like, the other zones, I mean some of them we, we caught like everything in one episode. Because they weren't really too tricky to solve, and the zones were also kind of smaller. So I don't know. I mean this one is probably my favorite zone, just because of how much more involved Everything has been. Wait, did Triffany not make it back yet? Where's Triffany? Huh. Oh, right there. Oh my god. Shells is the one that's not here. I mean, come on. We've been doing it to everyone else out here. Why stop now? No. Hmm. No, that's not good. Go back to the ribs. Nah, I, maybe I did have it right the first time. No. Bone crown is too hard to beat. What were the years again? Yeah, loaded spuddy, and we got those delicious antlers. That ain't it for the nose. That ain't it for the nose. Actually, the honeycomb might work. No. <clears throat> it's close, though. Weenie worm? Talk roach, though. Oh, right. Did we get a bone nose? 
I, mm, hmm, I don't know. Ooh. And that's hard to... Yeah. No, I think I might stick with that. And the, the honey's growing on me, actually. But I do want some symmetry in the arms. I think this is it. No, we'll play the body a little bit more. Mm hmm. No, I didn't love the body on Baby Kick Legs, did I? Ripple Pea body? No, you're just gonna look like meat. Tockroach. Meat with a shell? <laughs> you know what? It kind of gives like superhero vibes a little. Why can't I turn you around? What's happening? Yeah, do you know what? We're going to stick with that, actually. Uh, Chan Lo wants to talk to you. Oh, I'm happy to chat with Chan Lo. Let's meet by the campfire. What's going on, Chan Lo? Trithany, you know about history and, like, ancient societies and stuff. Shelda said Snorpy's lost in a maze of delusion. But what if it's not a delusion? What if there really is a Grumpinati? Well... I've done some research on my own, and uh, near as I can tell, there's no such thing. That's At good least to hear. not in the way you see in the movies. There's no shadowy cabal secretly in control of the world. Real conspiracies can't happen. And heck, there was an old literary society called the Grumpinati, but aside from the name, it's not at all what Snorpy talks about. <laughs> Are you sure? I mean, I've seen Snorpy's charts, and they kind of make sense. Oh, don't. Kinda don't do that. That's the important word here, though. Look, there are points of data on that chart that are real, but it's all those strings between them that are made up. No, those are real. We got them from Gramble. That's... Oh, Chandlo, that's, no. that's not... Uh, what I... Oh, coming back up, again? Up, 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 let it go, my child. <laughs> point is, Snorpy might be a talented engineer, but he's no historian, and he's certainly not immune to bias, you know? Yeah, I guess you're right. I hope you're right. Thanks for talking to me, Trift Dog. No problem! And if you ever want to know more about failed conspiracies throughout history, you know where to find me. It's a fun topic to know about. Well, sweet. I guess we will, uh, yeah, let's just finish this off with Chandler, and then I think we'll call it for today. Uh, so what are we going to do now? Bro, I feel like there's a huge weight on top of me, and it's not the kind I can lift. Snorpy never would have come to Snack Tooth if I didn't push him into it. All I do now is make him exercise and ignore all the stuff I don't understand. Sheldon's right. I don't know enough to really help him. And thinking I do is only making it worse. I'm gonna stay here. Until everybody's ready anyway. I need some time to just think. No, oh, it's okay, Chandler. Take your time. Okay, well. I think we have one goal left for next episode. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, you wanted the chocolate. Land. Well, no, we're going to do that next next Friday. This Friday. The Friday that's coming up. Not next Friday. Hell, I don't even know if we'll still be playing this next Friday. I feel like we're sort of nearing the end here. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. We will be back this Friday for more bug snacks and maybe getting into that temple. Um, until then, have a good rest of your week. Goodbye. <laughs>